Look what we have here. We've decided to get ourselves new pets. Little ants this time. Ants are incredible creatures. It's so interesting to watch them. We've purchased a whole house for them, an ant farm. But we need to assemble it first. Are we going to be antsologists? No, Sam. Ants are studied by myrmecologists. And we'll just be keeping the ants at home. Let's see what's inside. Here are all the parts. I think I need to remove this protective layer. <laughs> cool! Give a thumbs up if you like removing protective layers from devices. Right, like this, till the last strip. All the parts are clean! And here, we have pads for our ants. We need to assemble them in a certain order. Here's their running ground. Next, we'll need this blue sponge. Let's soak it in warm water. Squeeze the water out. And place it into this cavity. The sponge will create humidity, without which the ants will die. Let's pull the sponge through this opening. Now, we'll take these five plastic frames and put them together neatly and secure them with screws. And another one. Now, let's insert the screws into the openings, like this. We need to insert screws into each empty opening. And now, let's connect a sidewall. This will be the entrance for the ants. Now we'll screw everything in place, but not too tight or the plastic will crack. Done! Let's set this aside. We'll take the base and attach transparent walls to it. And the right wall. Let's take the third wall and attach it carefully. And now comes an exciting moment. We're connecting the rooms to the house. I feel like an ant builder. To make the walls hold, we'll fix them with rubber bands. Oh, I love this. It's so relaxing, guys. And on the other side. We're done with the walls. Now let's secure the bottom. The walls are secure, so now it's time for the roof. Ta-da! The roof shouldn't have any holes. To fix that, we'll use these two parts that will make the cover. And this net. These? Again? No, Sammy. This won't let the ants escape. Phew. I've inserted the net between two parts. Now let's secure them with the screws. And on the other side. Let's cover our roof. And plug the back door to make sure the ants stay inside. We'll have the front door on the other side where our friends will enter the house. Here, we have a tube that we need to fill with water. And here's a sponge plug. Let's insert it into a special opening. The moisture will gradually fill all the rooms of the formicarium. The house is moisturized! Now we only need to add these steps at the entrance. A kind of a porch! Dinner is served! Awesome, Sammy! Let the ants in! Here are our residents. Let's take the cotton ball out. Here, we have a special tunnel, which we'll insert quickly and insert the other end into the house. Yay! The first resident! <laughs> Here comes the second one! We really hope our ants will be comfortable in this house. Our ants are called Cataglyphus enosins, runner ants, which live mostly in grasslands but also in semi-deserts and deserts. 
Actually, there are so many ants on Earth that currently there are one million ants per human being. The common worker ant lives from 90 days to three years, and the ant queen can reign for up to 30 years. Look! Look! It's lifting something. Ants can carry weights 5,000 times heavier than their own weight. Can you imagine that? Our ants are called runners because they are incredibly fast. They run faster than any other species of ant because they can lift their abdomen in a special way. Ants don't have ears. How can they hear? Ants hear with their knees and feet. They sense vibrations from their surroundings. They're always in a hurry. No wonder ants are a symbol of hard work. Get inspired while looking at them, Sammy. I'm already so inspired. And I'm ready to do something useful. Really? Like what? Like come up with a name for our new ant farm. Oh, no, Sammy. I'll give you another task if you're feeling so inspired. Because we'll ask our viewers to come up with a name for our ant house. Yes! Write the names in the comments. We'll select the most interesting one. Bye-bye. See you soon. We'll keep you updated. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like the ant video. If we get it to 5,000 thumbs up, we promise to shoot another video about them.